BCAAs and whey protein isolate in the same supplement. It sounds like madness, but that is exactly what Xtend has done with their Pro Whey Isolate product. They've combined branched chain amino acids and whey protein into the same product. So why would you want to do that? Well, some people think it could maybe help with muscle retention. There are a few conditions there I'm going to get into in a little bit. So I'm going to talk about the nutrition, the ingredients, the price, and the overall pros and cons of this pretty unusual whey protein supplement so you can make up your own mind as to whether or not it's the right product for you. For now though, I'm going to try out this chocolate lava cake flavor. So here I've mixed one scoop with eight ounces of water per the instructions. And when I tried it, I thought it was quite a bit too strong until I realized this is not chocolate milk flavored protein. It's chocolate lava cake flavored protein. And that is what it tastes like. It tastes like you were eating mouthfuls of brownie batter. So it's quite a lot stronger and sweeter and darker than the more mild chocolate whey proteins out there. Now, I quite like eating brownie batter myself. If you don't, if this is too strong for you, and I have a feeling there are gonna be a few people this is a bit too sweet for, you can always add more water. So one scoop of this product has 120 calories. You're gonna get 25 grams of protein, four grams of carbohydrates with two grams of fiber and one gram of sugar. So that's like two grams of net carbohydrates and one gram of fat, no saturated fat, no cholesterol, which is pretty remarkable. There are a couple of other pretty interesting things here as well. Uh, they have tried to combine this way with some of the benefits of their very popular branch chain amino acid supplement. So to that end, they've added in some electrolytes. So this is higher in sodium and potassium than you normally see in the whey protein. You are going to get 7% and 14% of your recommended daily intake respectively. And it's also a little bit higher in calcium and iron than your standard protein as well with 13% and 11% of your intake respectively. So there are some slight extra bonuses here on the nutrition label. Now, as far as the ingredients go, you're gonna get a blend of whey protein isolate and sunflower lecithin that helps with mixability. Then you're gonna get some cocoa powder in this one, natural flavors, and then the branched chain amino acids, leucine, valine, and isoleucine. You're gonna get some gums as well, like for thickening and stabilizing. That's guar gum and xanthan gum. There's the extra salts and there are the artificial sweeteners, sucralose and acesulfame potassium. I do want to emphasize something that annoyed me a little bit with this product is that right in the front, it says proudly made with natural flavors. It is indeed true this is made with natural flavors, but it's made with two types of artificial sweeteners, so it might not be quite as natural as you might be hoping. Nonetheless, there is no soy in this product, which is going to make some people happy if they happen to be avoiding soy. I'm not saying it's bad for you, but nonetheless, there is definitely a market out there for people who would rather not have soy in their protein powder. But of course, the real spotlight here is on these extra BCAAs. So why might that be useful? So Extend's Pro Whey Isolate has about 50% more branch chain amino acids than your regular whey protein powder. So why do so many people supplement with BCAAs? Well, there are three building blocks of protein, leucine, isoleucine, and valine. And there is some research to suggest, and I shouldn't say this is a consensus, like there are researchers that disagree with it, but there's a decent amount of research that has suggested that if you are taking a long break between meals or working out on an empty stomach, or eating a low protein meal, or maybe just not getting that much protein throughout your day, branched chain amino acids might help with muscle retention, especially because of leucine, which is one of the BCAAs, and it's been pretty closely linked with muscle protein synthesis. That's like a process that uh, switches on genes responsible for muscle gain. I gotta make it clear, there are a bunch of other things involved with muscle gain. You know, of course, you need to take into account your workouts, your calories, your overall macronutrients, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, it appears that leucine is important, and it appears that getting three-ish grams of leucine at a time can help to switch on these genes associated with muscle protein synthesis. Now, the thing is that a scoop of regular whey protein is gonna give you two or three grams of leucine anyway. So you don't really need that much help hitting that three gram threshold if that's something that's important to you. Regular whey is probably gonna do it. Nonetheless, Xtend's Pro Whey Isolate sort of takes the guesswork out of that guaranteed you're getting at least three grams if that's a number that you are convinced is very important. And especially if you're not getting a ton of protein throughout your day, it's possible as extra amino acids might help. So as far as the price goes, this tub here, which is 1.82 pounds, is gonna cost you between 25 and $30. So it comes to about $1.15 or so per serving, like $1.15 to $1.20, or about 4.7 cents per gram of protein, which is pretty reasonably priced, like on a per gram of protein basis. Uh, the biggest, biggest names out there, the ones that can afford to have very cheap protein powder, they're usually between you know, three and five cents per gram of protein normally a bit less than 4.7. Nonetheless, this is still very well priced, especially when you take into account that it's got these extra electrolytes in there and it's also got these extra branched chain amino acids if those are important to you. But also, I really have to emphasize that this not only has no soy, but also it is tested by not one, but two third-party testing companies to make sure there are no banned substances or anything like that. So you may find the price worth it. 
So why should you consider getting a tub of this protein powder? Uh, first of all, very tasty, pretty well priced, I think. There's no cholesterol whatsoever, if that's important to you. There's no soy, if that's important to you. I'm not saying either of those are bad for you, but nonetheless, there are things that some people try to avoid. Also, it's got these extra electrolytes. It's a pretty decent source as far as protein powders go. Of potassium and sodium, uh, calcium and iron as well. It's not crazy high in any of them. You still have to have a well-rounded diet, but still definitely higher in these nutrients than your average protein powder. It's got those extra branched chain amino acids as well. Again, the science is a bit conflicting on this. It seems to be the most useful if you're not eating a lot of protein regularly throughout the day. Many of us don't, so you may find it worthwhile. And then finally, again, this is tested by Informed Choice and NSF for like banned substances, impurities, things like that. So like, especially if you're a competitive athlete, that could bring about some peace of mind. There are a few things you might not like quite so much about this product. Uh, the flavor is definitely very sweet and very rich. You can always just water it down, but nonetheless, I was pretty shocked by the richness of the flavor when I first tried it. I also wanted to mention, this does contain the artificial sweeteners, sucralose and acesulfame potassium. I'm not saying those are bad, but you know, you should know that, especially because they say it has natural flavors here, that sort of might trick you into thinking it has natural sweeteners as well. It doesn't, they're artificial. Um, there are also a couple types of gum in here, xanthan and guar gum. Now, very few people are actually going to be in trouble because of that, but there's a small percentage of the population who experience digestive distress from gums. That's why some protein powders leave them out. If that's you, you might be annoyed, uh, but again, it probably isn't going to be you. There are no digestive enzymes in this. That's a very small thing, but a lot of the bigger name protein powders that they compete with, they'll add in like some lactase or proteases or enzymes that might potentially help with nutrient absorption. This is a, it's a very, very small thing, but some people prefer to have those in their protein powder. And then finally, the branched chain amino acids, it does have the extra BCAAs, you are paying a little bit extra for that. And there are plenty of people who are going to say there's not really any point to that. I'm not taking a side on that. There are definitely some cases, well, there may be some cases in which it is useful, but the science is a little bit split, so you kind of have to make up your own mind on that one. All right, those are my thoughts on the pretty unusual Proway isolate from Xtend. The full written review, by the way, is in the description below. You can have to take a closer look at these studies I've been talking about. And if you want to see if this landed on my full list of the best whey proteins on the market, and I've tried a whole lot of them, just Google my full roundup with Barbend Best Whey.